filters. In this video students will learn the characteristics and uses of the different types of filters. Filters are electronic circuits that remove undesired signal components. Removal is done by attenuating the power of the undesired component signal frequencies. Some filters, especially active filters may enhance desired signal components, that is, amplifies the power of the desired component signal frequencies. Filters may be classified as active or passive, analog or digital and linear or nonlinear. Passive filters are generally built with a combination of resistances, capacitances and or inductances and does not have signal enhancement capabilities. Resistances are current attenuators for the entire frequency signal spectrum. Capacitances are current attenuators for low frequency signals. High frequency signals are allowed to pass through a capacitor with low reactance. Inductances are current attenuators for high frequency signals. Low frequency signals are allowed to pass through an inductor with low reactance. Filters are grouped into four main types. Low pass filter allows low frequency signals to pass while attenuating signals beyond the cutoff frequency. High pass filter allows high frequency signals to pass while attenuating signals below the cutoff frequency. Band pass filter allows signals from a frequency band to pass while attenuating all other signals. Band stop filter attenuates signals from a frequency band while allowing all other signals to pass. Cutoff frequency, also known as the 3 dB point, is the frequency where power of signals are attenuated to half their original power, voltage slash current reduced to 70.71%. A passive low pass filter typically consists of a shunt capacitor, a series inductor or both. A passive high pass filter typically consists of a shunt inductor, a series capacitor or both. A passive band pass filter typically is a cascade of a low pass filter and a high pass filter. There are two cutoff frequencies and the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter should be higher than the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter. A passive band stop filter typically is a parallel circuit of a low pass filter and a high pass filter. There are two cutoff frequencies and the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter should be lower than the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter. Active filters uses a combination of passive and active components to attenuate undesired signals and possibly enhance desired signals. Digital filters, a very important function in digital signal processing worked on the digitized data and can achieve signal processing that is impossible in the analog domain. Filters exist in almost all electrical and electronic systems in the aircraft. From the engine systems to the power supplies to the communications and navigation systems to the indicators to the lighting systems, filters played an important role. Next it will be an experiment about filters. In this experiment we use 33 nano rate capacitor and a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor patched up as shown. The function generator is set to 10 volt, I kilohertz sine wave. As we can see channel 1 is the input signal which is 10 volts and channel 2 is output signal at 7 volts, there the filter is at cutoff situation. We have 30% reduction in the output signal and the two wavy forms are shifting phase. We then reduce the frequency to 1 kHz. The output signal is almost the same as the input signal in terms of the amplitude. Then we increase the frequency to over 1 kHz. The amplitude is reduced. We reduce the frequency further and there is nearly no signal left. Next we switch the position of the capacitor and the resistor and we get a high pass filter. The function generator is then set to a frequency of 1 kHz. By comparing the amplitude of the signals, we can see that channel 2 has reduced by 30% and also shifting phase. Then we increase the frequency and we can see that the signals are similar. That is because only high frequency signal can pass through for high pass filter. 
Next we decrease the frequency. We can see that the output signal also decreases until now signal. This is the end of topic 9. We have learned to describe the characteristics and uses of the different types of filters.